Hi, this is Brother Sean with eLearning Brothers. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to reskin one of our Captivate layout templates. Um, in, included with your purchase, we give you uh, four files. We give you two Captivate 5 files and two Captivate 6 files. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to use in Captivate 6 how to apply one of our themes or styles to the layouts template. So I've got both of these files opened up in Adobe Captivate 6 right now. And what I want to do is, is show you how to basically change the colors of this template with one of our themes or one of our styles. So I've got our themes file opened up right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to expand this out so you can see these thumbnails a little bit easier. We have just about over just 51 just over 50 different themes or styles that we've included and what they are is just different textures and different color combinations that we think look kind of fun and kind of cool so I'm going to show you how to actually apply these now to one of the templates so once you find one that you like what you need to do is actually just copy it on the stage I'm going to zoom this out a little so we can actually just highlight all the way around it and copy this. So I'm going to just do my command C, but you could just go up to edit and go copy. Once you've copied it, go back to your template and I'm going to go into my master slide on the very first square here, which is called blank. And that's where this gray color lives. I'm just going to delete that gray color. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste in those graphics from my my themes or styles file alright now that that's pasted in you'll see that already in the master slide all all the different layout layouts have have a, adopted that new style so let's go and click through a few so we can see how it how the the slide layouts look now with the new theme alright so very cool um, so it's easy to change these different styles. So let's go ahead and just grab another one. Uh, there's another one I wanted to do that I think looks a little bit better. So we go back to our theme styles file. And once again, I'm just going to go and highlight this. And hit copy. Go back to my template file. And I'm going to go to that blank slide. Now I can just delete out the elements that are on this slide. And then we'll go ahead and paste in our new graphic. All right. So very easy to change the, the style and the look and feel of, of these templates. Um, if we want to brand it a little bit further, uh, while I'm on that blank slide, I can even go insert image. And I can go find a logo and really brand it for our company if we want. So I went ahead and just insert image. And I can kind of resize this and reposition it to wherever I like on the this master slide. And then I might even just change the uh, the alpha on it also. And we'll just slide the alpha down to maybe about 15 ish. And now you'll notice as we click through all the other master slides, that logo and the new style has been applied to each one of the layouts. And now when we go to use our template and we do our insert new slide, and now any of these layouts that we choose will have that same style, has my logo, and you can see that it's been applied to everything. It's a very cool way to uh, use the templates and really brand and customize these to, uh, to fit your needs or your company's needs. And uh, that's all it is to uh, our themes and styles.